In this video, we will be learning how to graph the line y equals negative 2x plus 3. Well, firstly, we know it's a straight line because it follows the same general formula as y equals to mx plus c. To graph a straight line, we only require two points along the line. So say for example we had a point here and here, we could connect these two points to form a straight line which can extrapolate indefinitely on both in both directions. On to how to find these two points. Well one point will be the y-intercept and this is where x equals 0 because let me demonstrate if a point lies in the y-intercept we know that x equals 0 no matter where it is so to find the y-intercept for y equals negative 2x plus 3 we set x equal to 0 so let's just quickly find that y equals to negative 2 times 0 plus 3 which shortens down to just 3 so the y-intercept is at x equals 0 and y equals 3 this will be our first point on the line right here to find the second point on the line is actually much more flexible for example, you could plug in x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into this equation and find the value of y. And with these two with these two points, you could actually form your line. But in this scenario, I will just use the slope of the line to demonstrate how to take information from the equation. So here we will be finding the slope of the line. So, so how we use the equation to find the slope is actually we take the coefficient in front of the x. The coefficient means the number in front of x. So in this case, it's negative 2. But to understand what slope means, it means that for every single, t for every single one unit you go across, you go down minus 2. So 1, 1, 2. And that will be the next point on our line. So, for example, you keep doing this both ways. You could go 1, 2. Or you could go up here and go 2, 1. But in, all, you, all you actually need is just two, two points to form your line. Okay, I know I said you only need two points to graph the line, but in this example, I did I, I did four points just to demonstrate why we only need two points. Because say we had only had this point here and this point here, that was enough to form our line like that. And we know we know that this line will keep extending forever, see, because with these extra points, you can easily see that. The line would have kept going on bo in both directions because the slope will remain the same. So for every single point you go across, one, you go down two. Let's just quickly go through an example, another example of um, y equals to negative x plus three to compare what I mean by the slope. So the same thing when x equals zero, you got the y intercept at three for a blue line. And say for example the slope here is actually just negative 1. You don't need to write out the 1 because it's redundant. Uh, so the same rule applies. You go across 1 and you go down 1. Go across 1, go down 1. And if you join this line together, you would have something like this. So as you can see, the blue line has a slope of 1 and the red line has a slope of 2. So you can actually say the red line is steeper than the blue line because it has a slope of negative 2.